In macro photography we have a big challenge with short depth of field, but can a tilting macro lens maybe solve that problem? That is a question I intend to answer in this video which is a review of the new Astrohori 85mm f2.8 tilting macro lens. This lens comes in at around $300, it comes for all the major mirrorless camera mounts. It goes from infinity to one time magnification, as most macro lenses do. The lens feels incredibly well built for the $300, I was actually a bit surprised and I found myself turning this aperture ring far longer than I had planned to just because it is so soothing and this must be one of the smoothest aperture rings I've ever tried. The focusing ring is also very nice but the throw is very short, I would have liked to see a bit longer focus throw. The lens is pretty heavy at 733 grams. This is the tilting wheel and it is locked right now. We need to unlock it here first on the other side and then we can tilt the lens uh, around 10 degrees in each direction. But the question is why would we want to tilt the lens? What does it do? Well, let me try to explain. Say that we want to photograph a small bug sitting on a leaf. Then if we would use a normal macro lens, the depth of field would be very thin and it would be in parallel with the camera sensor. That is how pretty much every camera lens works, right? And that is what we expect and what we want. But with a tilting camera lens, we can actually tilt the depth of field. The plane of focus can be rotated. Uh, forwards or backwards and in pretty much any direction and this can be greatly beneficial if we align it with what we want to photograph. For example this photo right here I took without any tilting and as you can see the depth of field is very short as it usually is in macro photography. But on this photo here I used the same aperture but I tilted the lens so that the plane of focus is in alignment with the flat top of the camera and as you can see the depth of feed looks a lot deeper now thanks to the tilting lens. And with this little knob here that we can unlock we can actually rotate the lens around its own axis and that enables us to tilt it in any direction not just up or down. Let's try if we can get deeper depth of field when we're photographing an insect. Since it is winter in Sweden I'm gonna use one of my dead helpers here, George. And I'm gonna try to get a shot where most of the bug is in focus despite being shot from the front. I'm taking a shot here at f8 without tilt and this is how it looks. And now let's do a shot with tilt. And now I need to tilt the lens downwards to get more of the shell in focus and uh, it works. <laughs> it actually works and gives a much better result with the tilt than without. Let's also try at f2.8 to make it even more obvious. Quite a big difference, right? And here is Crystal King without tilt and with tilt. As you can see his weapon is a lot more in focus now with the tilt than without. Okay, so the lens clearly is helpful in some macro photography situations, but what about the optical performance? Is this a sharp lens and how does it perform when it comes to chromatic aberration? I took a short walk with this lens and took some random photos to find out. The sharpness at f2.8 is clearly not great, it is pretty soft. And it does not help that the focus throw is so short, so it's really hard to set the focus. At f11 it looks very sharp and uh, definitely good enough for my needs. But it's not a great performer and you can also see a bit of chromatic aberration in there. A cool thing with a tilting lens is that even at longer distances you can get some interesting effects. For example you can get very short depth of field by tilting the depth of field as I have done in these photos. And uh, it can be pretty interesting also when doing video with this lens because you can get this kind of miniature feel to everything you're photographing. 
This lens is actually made for APS-C. I'm using it here on a full frame camera and as you can see there is quite a bit of vignetting when I'm tilting the lens. When I'm not tilting the lens there is no vignetting at all but this is good to know if you're using a full frame camera that you cannot really get the full picture uh, when you tilt the lens then it will look like this at full tilt. Good to know. Where I think this lens should be used, where I think it really is a great value for money at $300 is indoor product photography in a studio. Because then you can get great results when you stop down the aperture a bit so you get really sharp photos. And you can get that nice deep depth of field when you shoot something from a slight angle that would be very hard to get with a regular macro lens. Of course you could also focus stack but it is a nice feeling to be able to get a deep sharp depth of field with just one shot. So while this lens is not for everyone, if you have the specific need to have a tilting macro lens and you have a low budget then this is the lens to get I think. At $300 you get a lot of lens for your money. Did you know that the future of this YouTube channel relies heavily on support by viewers like you? For $5 per month you can support this YouTube channel and in return you will get access to my library of 15 bonus videos. I make a new Patreon exclusive bonus video every month. The latest one for example is where I edit raw files from my Patreon supporters. I also do photo critiques, I do uh, exclusive macro photography adventures that nobody except my Patreon supporters get to see. So please consider supporting me on Patreon. It is very much needed and very much appreciated.